Hi, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you again for that great panel. I wish I'd been here all day. I can tell it's been a fabulous day. Um, I would like to begin by acknowledging that we're on the traditional and unceded territories, the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh First Nations peoples. And I say that with um, uh, lots of things behind it. It's a tremendous amount of work that's going on within government, within our ministry, incredible collaborations, reconciliation and action, including economic reconciliation. And we're also doing a lot of partnerships with Indigenous-led uh, tech companies. So there's a ton going on, and I'm really grateful to get to do some of that work on these beautiful lands. Um, I first want to just acknowledge uh, Innovate BC and thank them for their collaboration with uh, New Ventures BC for putting on this event. Uh, we very much appreciate it. Um, I'll share with you that uh, we have been on a bit of a journey in British Columbia since I've been involved. Hi, Vic. Uh, I was elected in 2020. And we'd heard from the tech sector a couple different things that need to happen, many different things that need to happen. Um, just to share with you, I, I also come from the tech sector. I started my first company in 2003 and my second in 2011, and I've had uh, these two startups. I've been a software entrepreneur myself, so I feel some of your pain. Um, and I also had some perspective to bring into the role, and some of the work that we've been doing is trying to understand what uh, the tech sector, and we all know it's not a sector, but for convenience, it's what we say, what what we need to continue to be successful and to be more successful to support companies to have higher degrees of success. And one of those things, of course, is um, an intellectual property strategy. So in, in my first role in government as parliamentary secretary for technology, I worked with many, many people who provided insights, some people who are in the room today, uh, to guide us on an intellectual property strategy. And we were able to put our first strategy out uh, just a couple of years ago. It really is IP strategy light, though, I'll acknowledge, and we have more work to do. So I invite you all to know that and to be part of that as we go forward. Part of our additional goals in terms of um, helping British Columbia companies engage with intellectual property and understand opportunities, both sword and shield of intellectual property, is to um, put in some... Um, some quite robust programming around IP, and that's part of the strategy as well. We were very lucky that we received some federal funding into the province through Elevate IP, 12.5 million. The province has put in 2.5 million, and we've got some money in which to do some intellectual property programming. So that piece is happening. Other things that we're doing to build out the sector, many, many, many other things, but I do want to mention, because poor Jeff, I gave him the gears a little bit, um, about... Um, uh, some work with BC Tech to have an Innovators Hall of Fame, right? It seems like a, a, a small thing, but I don't know about the other people with gray hair in this room, but we don't do a good job of talking about all of the extraordinary technology that's been built in British Columbia, that's been part of our infrastructure, that is you know, part of the pathway that we're using on our mobile devices and many other things. So acknowledging the incredible folks that have built amazing things is part of the work that we're doing. Just started it last year. Probably there are people in here whose invitations are coming, but that's an important little piece as well. Also building out uh, many, many uh, tech seats in the province to continue to ensure that we have a robust workforce coming into tech sector. I could tell about a whole bunch of other things, but lots going on. Now, one of the important things we've also been able to do is really um, invite someone who has tremendous expertise in IP to run Innovate BC. I'm so delighted that Peter Cohen has taken on the role of CEO of Innovate BC. This is a really um, deliberate and strategic thing that we've done in selecting Peter. Peter brings tremendous experience to the table. We are so, so lucky to have him in our ecosystem, and I know he's doing amazing work. We're going to pull out some of those stories right now. Thanks very much, thank Minister. And um, as well, thank you to Angie and New Ventures for putting on the event tonight. I, I think it's there's a lot of hands, many hands make like work, and I think um, it's been really great to see that we have a great partner with New Ventures being able to execute some of the, the IP money that's coming in the door. Um, but Minister, you, you know, you talked a little bit about the IP strategy um, that was announced. I'm wondering if you have some additional depth and stories you want to talk a little bit about, about uh, the progress that's been made to date, and uh, perhaps I can 
offer some additional pieces to that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think actually you're going to be able to flesh that out even more than me. But um, essentially, the intellectual property strategy um, is really about it, it, you know one of the things we we saw when we did this consultation was different businesses' uh, relationship with IP was vastly different. So we would form together a table of maybe 20 people to talk about IP. How does IP fit into your business strategy? Where do you, how do you think about IP? What are your needs? What, what's working? What isn't? We would have some companies say, um, well, is data considered IP? And we'd have other companies say, well, we have um, 22 lawyers in many, many markets all over the world protecting our IP and we're, you know, so very big range. And I think, um, you know, what we've been able done to do already with the intellectual property strategy is provide some programming to help people assess where they are. Just a, a starting place of where are we? Very, very sophisticated actors probably don't need us right now in that part, but folks who are really looking at, you know, how, how does IP fit into their business landscape when they're designing their business plan and working in parallel on an IP plan, we have tools available now uh, for those businesses. And of course, the IP hub, which maybe you want to say a few words about. Sure. So, yeah. So thank you. So one of the pieces that you know, ABC has been working on is um, developing what we call an IP hub. Um, and we're, uh, I'll talk a little bit maybe later in the end of the talk about some of the interprovincial work we're doing. But what we're really trying to do is make sure we have a, a way to do intake with companies. We run all these innovation programming and you're always asking the same questions, some of them different with IP and trying to work out how we can streamline that and use that as a bit of an assessment tool to give companies some guidance. Um, you know, Connor, when he was up earlier, was talking about, you know, we have these great funding opportunities in Canada, but as part of the IP hub, we want to be able to say, okay, what, where are you really at? Where's your, you know, we talk about TRL levels, but where's your IP TRL level? Where does it need to be versus where it should be? And how do we funnel you into the right education programs? Um, how do we make sure you're leveraging the right funding? It's one thing to, you know, have some a budget to run a patent landscape is another thing to be able to make sure you have the talent and expertise to execute on that and build around that. So again, building out specific education programs um, around that. Um, some of the other pieces that the, you know, is beyond the hub is also making sure we're connecting groups, connecting, you know, groups like today, we, we can have a bit of a networking session, learn from our peers. Um, bit of a story, you know, 15, maybe longer than that years ago, I was part of an LES group and we actually tried to to start an IP strategy group out of the licensing exchange in Vancouver. And we found four people that would show up to an IP strategy event. So, right. And that was in Van, you know, between Vancouver and Victoria. So we have come a long way. So it's about building that platform. So groups like individuals like yourself can come out um, and make sure you're connecting with your peers to be able to build that and move forward. Could, could be the okay. cruise ship could again. Be, yeah, ship. <laughs> um, so, you know, some of the other pieces that um, it goes uh, a little bit past the hub, but we want people to be thinking about IP long term. And um, one of the things that we often hear about inside BC is companies are, are building great IP and building great organizations. So the IP will actually set us up to be able to tell those stories, to be able to connect. Um, we can help identify where good IP is sitting and where good companies are sitting and help build that investor story for companies. So there's quite a few different layers we're building into the hub piece um, and then making sure whatever we are creating has a kind of great, um, great use, not just in BC, but outside of BC and working with the other provinces. So that's kind of where we're heading with that. Awesome. So um, I know, Peter, you're a BC person. You're based in Victoria and you've um, spent some time in Toronto building out IP Ontario. Um, and we've grabbed you back into British Columbia. And I wonder if you can just share with us uh, how you see IP fitting into the provincial story and how will Innovate BC help BC businesses navigate the complexities of intellectual property going forward? Yeah, so, uh, you know, how it's interesting working across the provinces. I see everyone's got a bit of a different personality. Uh, you know, when you go to Alberta and talk about IP, you go to Ontario, we talk with groups from uh, the East Coast, uh, you know, from Newfoundland, and they got a different 
just just like we have different cultures in Canada, when you look at the provinces, we all are in a different space uh, when it comes to IP. So where I'm seeing Innovate BC is to learn from those groups and bring in what's working. You know, we see some very specific things happening successfully in Ontario um, and trying to innovate, trying to figure out how we can replicate those. Those fall into a bit of our, our approach on the hub. Um, and so where that mean, what that means for you is to help you navigate, you know, the IP complexity pieces. We want to develop programs and make sure we have events that are actually we know are going to work and just because we're running it for the first time doesn't mean another group hasn't run it and we take their lessons learned so you know standing on the shoulder of giants part of us uh, part of our goal is to be able to work out how we can all come together um, as an IP you know IP experts and make sure that we're you know helping companies like yourselves we know where the mining companies are having challenges we know where the auto companies are having challenges take that knowledge and bring it back into BC companies so for me you know IP is one of those pieces where everybody has to have their own unique strategy. There's building blocks for sure, but there's lessons learned in the auto space that auto companies can take that in forestry, where forestry, advanced manufacturing, advanced manufacturing. So again, that's where we're working is trying to bring those pieces in and build them into our programming. So awesome. Thank you. Um, maybe I can ask you, so we have a lot of entrepreneurs in the audience today. And what I'd love to understand is what does the government need from this audience, both in terms of um, understanding where our policies, provincial policies are at, um, making sure we have the right supports, um, what resources. I think our goal is to make everyone reach their fullest potential. So what are the pieces that you'd love to hear from them and see from them? Yeah, uh, that's a great question. So um, I think the first thing that, uh, that I'd like to say is that we're really keen on continuing to do this work. This is not stagnant work at all. And so um, to remain engaged is really, I, I invite you to do that. Um, there are people in this room that were involved in forming the work that we've done so far. We have more work to do. So if you would accept our invitation when we invite you to come around the table again and help us consider what other pieces do we need as we ensure we're providing the supports that you would want from us in order to build your businesses the way that you want to build them. We understand the importance of IP and we want to do what we can to support you in the growth of your companies and protecting your IP. So please stay engaged is, is one request I would have for you. Um, we're making uh, more, res more and more resources available and through Innovate BC and partnerships like with New Ventures BC. So I would say that's an important aspect um, as well. Um, and also just uh, the opportunity to connect and be talking about IP is really, really important. It's changing all the time. I, I hear a lot of discussion about IP in the context of AI and creativity, for example, and what that looks like. Different discussion than we're having with First Nations communities and IP protection, which is uh, challenging in different ways. So there's a lot going on. And the more that we communicate and share thoughts with each other, I think the more uh, valuable this will all be. Yeah. Thank you. Angie's giving me the time, so. I have one quick comment. Can I make one quick comment? Um, I just want to make a comment about Jim Basley, if I may, because um, he has been an extraordinary resource to me. And I know there's lots of people have lots of stories from the past, but I want to share with you that when I got this job, um, particularly the first role as um, Parliamentary Secretary for Technology, he reached out to me immediately and said, are you thinking about IP? And I wasn't. And he said, you need to be. And uh, the leadership that he's provided in Canada and the support that he's provided to me, I just want to give a positive shout out because we're seeing some extraordinary leadership on helping governments understand what they need to be doing. And many people in government just, we don't know until the community tells us. You know, I happen to come from tech. Not everyone does. So that communication from people forward is really appreciated. And I just want to say something positive about good old Jim. Yeah. Uh, do you have a Jim story? Well, we, we, Jim story may happen. You have over, a million Jim uh, stories. It might happen over cocktails. Um, just one, maybe one last comment. Just to, you know, we are we are at the end of the time. Today's event is great, but this is one of many that are happening across Canada. And I think, again, um, you know, to go back to Connor's comment around, we're very lucky. There are lots of good things happening across Canada in the IP um, angle, but we have likely have a new government coming in. Right now, there's a lot of um, positioning. I get calls from inside 
government on the Fed side saying we're looking at the new IP programming and where things are going to go, there is a real interest to show success stories that are tied to the intangible economy. And so one of the questions I asked you was where can you know companies come and add your support? I think making sure you're connected with Angie and our group on that you actually have some really strong intangible asset-based stories to tell will f help feed the narrative and support the narrative that we've been pushing for many years that IP is an important piece in the economy. And if companies want to compete and scale globally, they have to have IP ownership to be able to play the game properly. So I'd like to thank everyone for their time today and thank the minister as well for her support um, as we've been working to uh, build in ABC and the IP angle. And um, thank you for uh, convincing me to uh, apply for the job. Um, I will say I'll come if I get to do IP. So um, this is a, hopefully the start of uh, several, many events. And again, thank you to Angie and her team for, um, for hosting us. Thank you.